On September 26, 2024, there was a motion to seal an arrest warrant, the probable cause affidavit, and the charging information for former Rushville, Indiana, Assistant Police Chief Todd Click. Click was a critical witness for attorneys Andrew Baldwin and Brad Rosie in their motion to present an Odin third-party defense of Richard Allen. Previous information regarding a Brady Giglio violation by Click has been alleged. However, those facts have not been able to be confirmed as of yet. While the new arrest charges for Click are unrelated to Click's assistance to the defense on Allen's case, they cast further doubt on Click's ability to represent any future bid for an offer of proof for Allen's defense at his upcoming trial. A PCA and warrant for the arrest of Click included charges for the former case manager at the Indiana Department of Child Services. The allegations are that Click falsified reports and forged signatures on DCS documents. There is evidence of at least 10 false entries and 7 forged documents. Click's charges include obstructing a child abuse investigation, which is a Class A misdemeanor, and forgery, which is a Level 6 felony. The Honorable Judge Jeffrey Sharp granted the state's motion to seal, and that seal was lifted following Click's arrest. Click was taken into custody on Thursday, October 3rd at the Ripley County Jail where he remains. A motion to set bond was filed on Friday, October 4th by his attorney, Paul Bereda Jr., since there is no current bond in place. A hearing is scheduled for Monday, October 7th at 9 a.m. in Ripley County. Click's probable cause affidavit and charging information is as follows. Affidavit for Probable Cause, State of Indiana, County of Ripley. I, Michael Lepper, a law enforcement officer with the Indiana Office of the Inspector General, the OIG, being duly sworn, swear and affirm under penalties for perjury that the following statements are true and accurate to the best of my knowledge. I am a law enforcement officer with the OIG, pursuant to Indiana Code 3531.5-2-185. The OIG is a law enforcement agency created by the Indiana General Assembly through Indiana Code 4272. I have been a special agent with the OIG since April 23, 2018. In connection with my official duties, I am involved in criminal investigations involving state employees within the executive branch of Indiana government. I have received training relating to the enforcement of Indiana laws, including the following. Number one, Indiana State Police 42nd Recruit Academy in July through November 1984. I have satisfied the minimum basic training requirements established by rules adopted by Law Enforcement Training Board under Indiana Code 5219 and described in Indiana Code 353745. I was previously employed as a law enforcement officer with the Indiana State Police for 32 years, 1984 through 2016. I have served as a detective and investigated many kinds of crimes, including theft, forgery, and fraud. The previously listed crimes are like the current investigation. On April 11, 2024, the OIG received a complaint from the Indiana Department of Child Services, DCS, alleging that a former DCS employee, Todd Aaron Click, date of birth 4 7 submitted official reports in his role as a family case manager, FCM, to the DCS case management system, the management gateway for Indiana kids. M-A-G-I-K, MAGIC. According to DCS, those reports contain false information of family visits and DCS documents with forged signatures of parents and caregivers. I was assigned to investigate this case. Click was employed by the DCS as an FCM assigned to the Ripley County office from July 9th, 2023 through March 2nd, 2024 when he resigned 
Click's role was an assessment worker. DCS policy describes the term assessment, quote, an assessment of alleged child abuse and or neglect is a comprehensive process and is completed to ensure the safety and well-being of a child alleged to be a victim of child abuse or neglect can. These initial investigations occur immediately following a report of alleged abuse or neglect that is received by the DCS hotline. During my investigation, I found evidence that Click falsified at least 10 magic entries and forged the signatures of parents caregivers on at least seven dcs forms required during the assessment process i believe that click knowingly or intentionally falsified child abuse or neglect information and records committing the crime of obstructing a child abuse investigation under indiana code 31 33 22 2 B, a Class A misdemeanor occurring in Ripley County, Indiana, based on the following facts. The MB family. Number one, on 12-24-2023 at 11 a.m., Click reported in Magic he made a vis visit to the MB's home in Batesville, but did not find anyone home. Click said he called MB on the telephone and was told by MB that she was on the way to Ohio for a family Christmas. MB said after the domestic violence event on 12-23-2023, she went to her mother's home in Milan, Indiana until February of 2024. MB said she had no family in Ohio and the call never happened. Number two, on 12 24 2023 at 5 p.m., Click reported in Magic he made a video FaceTime call with MB and saw her children, IS, age two, and HS, age two months, and that they appeared healthy. MB said that call never happened. Number three, on 12 28 2023 at 3 15 p.m., Click reported in Magic that he met face-to-face -face with MB and her children at her Batesville home. Click reported the children looked healthy. MB said that visit never happened. Number four, on 1-31-2024 at 9.30 a.m., Click reported in Magic that he met face-to-face -face with MD and her children at her Batesville home. MB said that meeting never happened. Number five, on February 15th, 2024, at 3.15 p.m., Click reported in Magic that he met face-to-face -face with MB and her children in her Batesville home. MC, MB said that this is the only time she had seen Click. Click reported discussing a safety plan, one of the DCS required forms, with MB. MB said he stood just inside the door for five minutes and they never discussed the safety plan. The AB family. Number six. On January 22, 2024, at 3.30 p.m., Click reported in Magic that he made a face-to-face -face visit with AB, his wife, and their child, RB, at their Holton home. AB said this visit never happened. Earlier in the day, RB reported to her school that she had been fondled by a family friend on January 21st, 2024. The school advised the AB family that they reported the incident at 11.51 a.m. to the hotline and to go home and that the DCS would be out to their home. At 8.24 p.m., AB made a second report to the hotline as no one from DCS ever came to their home. The MW family. Number seven. On December 22, 2023, at 4.30 p.m., Click reported in Magic that he had a face-to-face -face visit with CW, the guardian of the children, MW, the mother of the children, SF, age 11, and LF, age 8, at their Osgood home. CW and MW both said the visit never happened. CW said she has never met Click. 
MB said Click never talked to her children. Number eight, on January 29th, 2024 at 3.40 p.m., Click reported in Magic a face-to-face -face visit with CW, SF, and LF at their Osgood home. CW said the visit never happened. She has never met him. Click reported talking to the children and reported the mother, MW, had moved out of the house. That was also untrue. The TS family, number nine. On December 21st, 2023 at 4.30 p.m., Click reported in Magic that he did a face-to-face -face visit with TH, the grandfather, TS, the mother, and KS, age 14, CORS, age 10, COIS, age 17, and CAS, age 12, at their Batesville home. Both TH and TS say that that never happened. TS says Click has never been to their home. The EL family, number 10. On February 13th, 2024, at 4.05 p.m., Click reported in Magic a face-to-face -face visit with JB, a.k.a. JL, at his home. JB said Click has never been to his home and he has never met him. JB said they did talk over the telephone once around that time. When Click called JB, he pulled over into the farm and garden in Versailles to speak. DCS requires this interview be conducted in person. I believe Click knowingly and intentionally created written instruments purporting to be signed by parents or caregivers, all without authority to do so in violation of Indiana Code 354352B forgery, a level 6 felony occurring in Ripley County, Indiana, based on the following facts. MB Family, number one. Click submitted a DCS trial membership form required by DCS and reportedly signed by MB on December 28, 2023. This date corresponds to a date in which Click reported a visit with MB at her Batesville home. MB said the visit never happened and she never signed any form for Click. I showed her the form and she confidently said that is not my signature. This form is required by federal regulation under the Indiana Child Wel Welfare Act, ICWA. Number two, Click submitted to DCS a safety plan form required by DCS and reportedly signed by MB on February 15th, 2024. This date corresponds to a visit at MB's Batesville home that did occur. However, MB said that the meeting lasted only five minutes and she never signed or discussed any forms. I showed her the form and she confidently said, no, that's not my signature. This form is required to, quote, develop an agreed action by the parent, guardian, custodian that will allow the child to be safe in their home. End quote. This is to help, quote, determine if an agreed upon action will allow the child to stay in their home or if detention or removal is needed, end quote. The AB family, number three, Click submitted to DCS a consent to interview children form required by DCS and reportedly signed by AB on January 25th, 2024. This date is the same day of a forensic interview conducted with RB, age 9, at the Child Advocacy Center of Southeast Indiana in Greensburg. AB says it is the first and only time he ever saw a click, but he did not sign any forms. I showed AB the form and he said confidently, no, that is not my signature on that. According to an email from DCS local office director, LOD, Michelle Smith, quote, per statute and policy, interviewing a subject child is pertinent in completing a thorough assessment. Consent to interview a child can be obtained in one of three ways, obtaining a court order under exigent circumstances or with parental consent, through signing this form, verbal consent is a last resort. The TW family, number four, 
Click Submitted to DCS, a tribal membership form required by DCS and reportedly signed by CW, the Guardian, on December 22, 2023. This date corresponds with a home visit at 4.30 p.m. Click reported in Magic that both CW and MW said the visit never happened. CW said she has never met Click and never signed any form for him. CW was shown the document and said confidently when asked if it was her signature, no, no, it's not. Number five, Click submitted to DCS a consent to interview children form required by DCS and reportedly signed by CW, the Guardian, on December 22nd, 2023. This date corresponds with a home visit at 4.30 p.m. Click reported in Magic, but both CW and MW say the visit never happened. CW said she has never met Click and never signed any form for him. CW was shown the document and confidently said, that's not my writing. TS family, number six. Click submitted to DCS a consent to interview children form required by DCS and reportedly signed by TS on December 21st, 2023. This date corresponds with a date Click reported in Magic, a home visit in Batesville. TS said the visit never happened and she never signed any forms for Click and has never met him and he has never been to her home. She may have talked to him on the phone. When I showed her the form, she confidently said, that's not my signature. Number seven, Click submitted to DCS a tribal membership form required by DCS and reportedly signed by TS on December 21st, 2023. This date corresponds with the date Click reported in Magic a home visit in Batesville. TS said the visit never happened and she never signed any forms for Click and has never met him and he has never been to her home. She may have talked to him on the phone. When I showed her the form and asked her if that was her signature, she confidently said no. All seven of these forged documents were uploaded into the magic system by Click or by a clerical employee having received them from Click. As a public servant employed as FCM with D DCS, I believe Click knowingly or intentionally committed the offense of official misconduct by committing the above offenses in the performance of his official duties in violation of Indiana Code 35-44111. One, official misconduct, a level six felony in Ripley County, Indiana, based on the above facts. While I have no information that his complete disregard for DCS policy and children's safety caused any actual harm, these crimes put at least five Ripley County families and 11 children in danger because he failed to perform his duties as he was trained. Signed September 18, 2024, Affiant Michael Lepper, Special Agent for the Indiana Office of the Inspector General.